This is a Dell Latitude D620. We're going to go ahead and take a look underneath and find out where the hard drive is, memory, and the BIOS chip. We might get lucky and come by the CPU fan to clean it out too. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at uh, some parts. First of all, you need to re remove the battery. Okay, pull these two tabs. You need th like three fingers to do this. So pull these two tabs, push this back, and that's your battery. Set that aside. We're going to go into the RAM this time first. Now, I already removed the, uh, the cover. You do need a uh, small Phillips head to get access to this. All right, uh, one thing I noticed uh, when I looked in here, this has popped out. Okay, on the battery, uh, on the CMOS, I'm, I'm sorry, on the uh, on the RAM chip, okay, and um, and not not good at all. It has to be pushed all the way down. So something's uh, something's not right here. So we're gonna pop this out all the way and uh, pull it out. We're gonna slide it back in, make sure it's all the way down, and get the click. And now it's all the way down. Um, so so we want to make sure that that's flat and all the way down, which it was not. All right, and then uh, take your two keyways here, put it underneath, put it down, and screw that down. I already pulled the screws out for the hard drive that's over here. Uh, let me slide this over just a bit so you can see it in the video. All right, um, there's uh, t two screws I already uh, removed to save time. I have no idea what strike zone is, <laughs> okay? Uh, it's kind of weird seeing strike zone. That's like in the military or something like that. And we're going to pull this out. This is a SATA hard drive, as you can see on the thing here. Um, looking at the information there, 80 gig hard drive, which was uh, probably one of the first uh, SATA hard drives. In fact, it has the pins over here for testing. You don't see those anymore. Uh, so you, re you would remove, in this case, two screws. There's no screw on that side, so one screw. Makes it easy. Um, and uh, all you're going to do is remove this front plate. There should be a screw on this side, but it's just a keyway, which is really nice. So one screw to lose. You can't lose any more screws. <laughs> you can't lose that screw neither. So uh, this makes it nice for the us um, computer techs because we pop this out and put this right into the docking station without removing it from the case you know, to get the data off of it, which is uh, which is a really nice thing. And then uh, when you when you put it in, you want to put it with the bottom up and slide it all the way in and you want to make it click, it'll be flush with the rest of it, and put your two screws back in, which I'll do later on to save time on the, uh, on that. And then don't, don't forget to put your battery back in. All right, uh, don't see a uh, BIOS chip in here. And don't, there's no other panels to take off. Not, uh, you know, the um, BIOS battery, I don't see it in here. So that's the downfall. Um, I like seeing the, ba the batteries last typically five years. Laptops, it seems like it lasts a little bit longer, so that's pretty good. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, back in. All right, it just sits down, you push it all the way in, and you get the two clicks. So you're done. All right, that's how you access everything. I'm going to put the screws in after the video. But uh, the right, nice thing is that's the docking station right here. And I do have one of those if the customer wants to purchase from me. Because that's where the docking station goes on uh, on this guy. You can find them on eBay uh, relatively cheap. So I hope you liked the video. Um, share with a friend, subscribe, uh, and have a good day. Bye.